Welcome back to the channel, it's the Procon Geek and in today's video we're gonna be detailing the slab that we analyzed and designed in the previous video. So without wasting too much time, let's just get right into it. But first, first, subscribe and like the bloody video and I might just make the next one in a British accent. But yo, on a serious note, please, please subscribe and like the video and tell your friends okay. So in the previous video, we had a slab example from one of our subscribers that we put into Proco and had the software play around with the input. After that, we were able to obtain the values for the moment, deflections and required reinforcement. And in that video, I told you, the most important thing that we just needed were the values generated under the reinforcement tab as these are the values we will need to detail our slab and that is what we'll be jumping into right now. Fortunately for us, I already had the drawing open and had detailed the slab way beforehand. But for you to follow along as we do it together, I separated the drawing into four parts. Two shells for the bottom face of the slab in the X and Y directions and two shells for the top of the slab in the X and Y directions as well. This will make it easy for you to follow and understand as opposed to me doing it on one drawing and just remember, as long as you label and have enough money to print many copies, it is allowed in the industry. The line work has already been done and I will be detailing the slab according to BS and SANS specifications for a simple supported slab. If you want, you can pause the video, get a feel what they look like and they tell. Okay, so let's just get started. First thing, we're going to be putting bars at the bottom of the slab in the x direction to the slab in the x direction and the minimum amount of steel for the max moment is 914.7 square millimeters per square meter. And the best arrangement of steel that we can use according to BS and SANS is going to be an arrangement of Y12 bars placed in 200 millimeters from each other and then we will place Y10s in between these Y12s like a hot dog sausage party style spaced at 200 millimeters from each other thereby giving us a still reinforcing map of alternating Y12s and Y10s at a spacing of 100 millimeters which effectively gives us a steel area of 958 square millimeters. Okay, let's go ahead. First thing, all you have to do is go to line and go down and choose X horizontal line so that we place horizontal construction lines anywhere on the shell that we like or for the bottom rebar slab. And now remember you can do this much faster by just typing LX on your keyboard for the horizontal lines and LY on your keyboard for the vertical construction lines. Next, go to rebar, click on bar, then on this pop-up window, according to SANS or BS, we will be using shape code 37 bars. Make sure your diameter is 12 and your bar mark is 1. Remember, reduce the bar with cover must be ticked and make sure your cover is 20 throughout, that is 20, 20 and 20. Once that is done, you're going to be placing this bars by snapping at the edge of the concrete on your construction line and going all the way to the 100% steel limit guide. Then as for the third handle, just place it anywhere, but then go ahead and proceed to go to edit, go to entity info or just type EI on your keyboard and edit the legs of the bar. Leave everything else untouched and change A from whatever you have on the screen to 120 since the Y12 bar, then click OK. Alright, now it's time to place the other Y12 bar and all you have to do is type RB as a shortcut. This will make sure that the diameter, or rather make sure that the diameter is still 12 and your bar mark is 1 because this will be the same bar but it will just be mirrored. So also make sure reduce with cover is ticked as usual then select shape code 37 bar. 
do the same thing we did for the first bar, but just in a mere fashion. Fashion. Okay, now that we're done placing the bars, the next thing we need to do is zone these bars so that we have them showing up on our bending schedule. To do this, go to Rebar and all the way down it indicate drawn bars. Select three, zone, one bars in brackets. Select the first bar, indicate the start of the zone, indicate the end of the zone, then position of the text. Then in the command line, indicate the spacing by typing 200 and B1 to indicate this will be for the first layer in the bottom space. Click enter and yes, type Y to reduce the bars with cover, then click enter again and voila, there you have it. You have zoned your very first bar in Procom. Now, just remember the same process for the next bar and once you do and once you do that, we're gonna we are good to go. Now that you have zoned the other bar, Procon tells you that the bar mark is already on the schedule and asks you what you want to do. In our case, just increment the number of bars and we will look at the other options in other videos. Alright, now that is done, the next thing you want to do is place the white hands and to do that, all you have to do is repeat the same process we did with the white twelves and zone them as well. Everything is just done the very same way. That is placing your bars, making sure the diameter is okay. Then proceeding to zone the bars using the R3, making sure you indicate the start and text position, spacing and layer as we did with the Y12s. Okay. 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 That is good. Once you've done this, You've taken care of the bottom face in the X direction and now you need to take care of the bottom face in the Y direction. To do that, just go to the slab shell on your right. Ensure you have enough construction lines to guide you in placing and snapping your bars so that you place them as quickly as possible. For the bottom face and the Y, the minimum amount of steel for the max moment is 606.5 square millimeters per square meter and the best arrangement of steel that we can provide with will be Y10 bars at a spacing of 100 to match our X spacings. This will give us a total of 785 square millimeters and bloody bollocks. That's good enough for us. Okay, so just type RB to open up the bar placement window. The bar mark is now 3 and go to shape code 37 again. And start placing your bars as we did in the previous phase. The steps are just the same and remember you need to edit your anchorage leg A to 100 because you're using Y10 bars now. Alright, once that is done, repeat the same process making sure your bar mark is still 3 and place the other bar in a mirrored fashion. Take your time and precision and make sure you edit the leg of the bar. Once that is done, the next step is to zone our bars and repeat the zoning process we already studied. Basically R3, select bar, zone start, zone end, text position, though not as important, specify spacing and layer and you're good to go. Do for the first bar, then proceed for the other bar in the same fashion and just watch as your bars show up in the bending schedule, incrementing where necessary. All right, now that you have all your bars and you need that you need for the bottom face in both the X and Y directions, you can safely say you've taken care of the bending moments and the next step is to take care of the hogging moments in the top face. All you have to do and all that you have to do right is start with the top face for the X direction, which needs a minimum of 490.5 square millimeters of reinforcement square meter. The best arrangement to provide this still while skipping in line with the BS and Sun's detailing codes will be an arrangement of white tens at a spacing of 100 millimeters for 
giving us an area of 758 square millimeters per meter. Don't worry about an over design. We're gonna get tell our boss to ensure boss to ensure we do not over design and our clients do not suffer financially. Okay, so to get started, make sure you have enough construction lines on your shell for the snapping and the curtailment guidance. If not, please add them. Once you have done that, proceed to type in RB. Make sure your diameter is 10, then the mark is now 4, and for the cover, make sure it's 20 throughout. This time around, instead of shape code 37, we're going to be using shape code 20, which are straight bars. Next, just place your bar snap into the appropriate construction lines and 100% steel guides. Once the first bar is in, repeat RB, maintaining your diameter and bar mark, and proceed to place the second bar in a mirrored fashion. Next, zone your bars as usual. R3, zone start, zone end, text, space 3, zone start, zone end, text, spacing, you just recover. And once you're done for the first bar, do it for the second bar in the very same fashion. Alright, once that is done, we have taken care of the second moments at the, at the support for the X direction of the top face and the next step is to take care of the Y direction. So for the Y, the minimum steel required for the max moment is 504.5 square millimeters per square meter. And just like in the X direction, we're going to be using an arrangement of Y turns at a spacing of 100 millimeters giving us, yes, 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 you guessed it. 758 square millimeters per square meter. So, let's get started. First, as usual, make sure you have enough construction lines to make the placement of your bars as easy as possible, please. Next, just type RB, make sure your diameter is 10, bar mark is 5, cover is 20, 20, and 20. Then, same as the previous direction, we go with bar mark 20, and voila, your bar is easily. Okay. Repeat the process for the other bar, making sure the bar mark is still the same, same bar, just mere fashion, remember that. Next, zone your bars which is easy as R3, following the prompted instructions and as usual, voila, your bars will be zoned and repeat for the other bar and increment as is necessary. And there you go. Okay. 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 All right. There you go. There you have it. You have successfully detailed the slab for both the bending and second moment in well under 15 minutes. I'm sure this is definitely well under 15 minutes, right? Okay. So let me just thank you for watching this video to the very end if you did. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like and share my videos yes i will repeat them please subscribe and like and share my videos and until next time please show it to other engineers kicks your girlfriends or boyfriends and tell me in the comment box below what you want to see next as we continue on our series on how to design slabs program so until next time please Please like, share, keep this video going and uh, stay cool, stay safe, stay geeky, Procon Geek out.